All right, Pitco fryer. They say it doesn't work. When we turn it on, nothing happens. Depending on how it's wired and what they're breaking. Listen, hear the click. High limits tripped. If the high limit's breaking the uh, 24 volts before the ignition module, that's gonna be our problem. Let's jump in. Right, we're not gonna run it like this or anything, but here's our test. Good connection. And whoosh. Oh boy, you had crap gas pressure in there. Let me turn off this light. Let's turn that on. Let's make my 24 volts. Okay. That is the... That's the self-cleaning burner solenoid. Pretty sure. Which is that guy back there. This is why we test. Right, let's, I've unhooked that solenoid now. You can see that terminal, right? Now, you can realize, wait, here it comes. So now I fired up. I've got a different observation now. All right, so those are just sitting there in making contact, new board. Boom, first fire, never was a problem. Second fire runs the self-cleaning burner. And that's where it was buzzing like crazy. Now it's not, so we can solve that problem. She shuts off, she fires again. And what I just noticed last time was my fourth burner was not taken on. Hard to tell. There's the board we replaced. You can see some burn marks. All right, this is the thing that uh, these new posts are longer than the old posts and the old screws don't work. So I use short self-tapping screws and I just screw into this. I've still got my cardboard backer behind it, but now it's tight, not going anywhere. Now we're changing the high limit, which is this guy. So new high limit, so we need to put it in its bracket. I had this thing unplugged, so let me re-plug it in. That's fired up, and now she should function proper. Okay. Three, two, one, don't blow up. Yeah, baby. There's no oil in it, so I don't want to let it actually fire fire, but. Uh -huh. yeah, so burners look good. So I filled it, checked it for weeks. She's not leaking. We're up and running. We'll wait and see it satisfy. All right, we're about 250. You know the terrible possibility exists. Hang on. A terrible possibility exists that the thermostat is running away. And that's why we blew the high limit because it kept going off on high limit no way to really test that until I get it up and running. So now that we're up and running, I want to see it hit, see we're still only hanging out right now. You know, I want to see it hit 300 and I want it to stop at 300. I don't like how this turns, not very good at all. Hopefully we don't have to change that. jackpot so we turn her down to 250 she satisfies so the thermostat is ish calibrated we're gonna wait and see when the oil's 350 what we set what we're set at